Okay, now I have a new problem. As you can see, that door totally came off. And I've been having problems with it. It was coming out, it's like a steel rod kind. And I had put some tape up there trying to keep it from coming all the way out, but it didn't work. See? Now Karen says she knows how to fix it. Okay, Kathy don't know how to fix nothing. So I guess we're gonna go tomorrow and get some hinges at Home Depot. Oh my god. Anything else want to go wrong? Look at this. Well, at least it happened when I was parked. Because usually I put my garbage in there. And that's that door gets opened and shut a lot because I put my garbage in there. If I would have stopped at the dump to throw my garbage away and then that fell off, I would have been in trouble. I could not get it back in. The more I tried, the more it came out. Damn. See, this storage door has hinges, and another one on the other side does also. And I'm wondering if that happened and they replaced it. Dang, they should have did that to all the doors. This is ridiculous. Okay, I was looking online last night, and apparently all that really needs to be replaced is this rubber bumper, probably. And I guess that's not too hard of a fix for for uh, anybody except me maybe I did find out how to take these off that just pops off you put a little screwdriver can you see it in that little opening and this whole uh, whatever they call it I forgot what they called it will pop off it's a hatch lift kind <sighs> so Karen has a friend in town. <clears throat> she tried to call him. Um, we'll try to call him later again. Maybe see if he calls us back. See if he can help us out. There is a mobile RV uh, repair in Gold Golden Valley. They charge $140 just to come out and look at it. Okay, yeah. So, we'll see what happens. I, I don't think I ever did a proper review of my solar panel. Um, it's a HQST 100 watt polycrystalline solar panel with a 20 amp charger and it's working excellently. I've barely had to use my generator after I paid a thousand dollars to get it fixed, yeah, of course. The controller has a digital screen and it cycles through. EO means it's okay. Right now it's saying my battery is 16.2 and 2.8 amps coming in. Okay, I have had problems with this controller. I've had to tighten the wires and uh, it is kind of a sensitive controller. It'll, it'll shut off on you. It has me a couple times, you know, and as I was doing this video last night, I wanted to show you how I had it hooked up and I noticed the wires were tangled up and I tried to um, untangle them and accidentally hit the, you know, the red clip with the black clip while the, it was still hooked up, the red clip was hooked up and it sparked a little bit and it shut off and I could not get it to go back on. I had to wait till today and I retightened the wires because I was pulling on them a little bit. They didn't seem like they were loose though. But it does tell you it, it'll recover the next day if it doesn't recover that day in a short circuit situation. Am I still on this? I'm sorry. One thing this one has that the other one didn't have is a fuse right there. And it took a 10 amp fuse and I blew that one out like the third day. And so I put a 20 amp fuse one and it seemed like it worked better. So... Um, that's one thing I discovered, but it is, you know, kind of sensitive, but it's a lot, works a lot better than that Dokio one did for me. Okay, I know it's hard to see this bug, but I have to talk about this bug. 
This is a dangerous bug. And it's dying. I've sprayed it. They're called kissing bugs. And they suck blood. And they have some kind of parasite. Suck your blood. And they poop. It gets into your bloodstream. And this is like the third one I've seen. And I stepped on one. Smeared blood on my floor. I know you can't see it very well. We have to be careful. In Arizona especially. And I know they're in other parts of the country, but I just saw an article from Tucson a few days ago that said this is the season. And what they do, they call them kissing bugs because they will get on your face. And I guess that they will make a welt bigger than a mosquito. But what's dangerous about them is that they, is, is the parasite in their feces, okay? I can't get much clearer for some reason, but that is what that is, okay?